income, having multiple streams of income. Um, they say on average that most people who are doing well um, have at least seven different streams of income. So today, well, I just want to recap yesterday. If you didn't do that homework, I, I recommend that you do that. So there was, there's the workbook, the bootcamp workbook, and I don't, you don't need to go through every single thing there. You'll, you'll want to look at it and see what sticks out to you, what resonates with you. And, um, but really get clear on, if you did, haven't watched that, you really need to understand the cash flow quadrants, especially if you're trying to create time and income freedom. And so understand that, identify where you're at, where you'd really like to be, and then kind of a vision of what you want it to look like. If you were to have this profitable online business, what does it look like day to day? Um, just getting clearer on what you want to create. So today, um, we are going to be going through some fun stuff. Like this is the, the fun stuff that I love because we're going to be talking about some different business ideas and also a little bit of marketing. So my background um, is marketing. I've been doing marketing for over 20 years, initially for companies and then for my own businesses. And I love it. I love it because I believe marketing is really just connecting solutions to problems, serving people. Um, and a lot of times we have so much value, but we don't know how to get it to people. And I believe marketing is the way that we are able to get that to people. So I love it. Um, I market my kids all the time, right? Uh, my background, six kids. And so you're always selling something, marketing something like, what's the value? What's the problem? How can I help solve that? Okay. So I am going to give you some ideas and you are welcome in the chat, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook or in the um, Zoom room to put in the chat as I'm going along, if any ideas come to you as far as ways that you could create income online, because I'm going to be sharing some of my journey and the different paths to creating these different streams of income. And some of they, them might resonate with you. You might have some other ideas that come. So I want you to be able to share those with others because I don't know all the ways. And so you might have ways that you're creating or you have friends or family or, or people that you know that are creating income online in different ways. Please share them. So my journey, uh, as I've shared a little bit about that, is after I got laid off from working in corporate and then gradually started my own thing, the first thing that I did was that I started a business of selling scrapbook supplies online, right? And so if we think of the, the cash flow quadrant, I was on the um, left-hand side and I was creating earned income where instead of working for someone, I was working for myself, I was selling scrapbook supplies, my income would go up if I was able to sell more things. And this might be you right now, you might have a business or you're thinking of a business idea where you might be selling a product. Maybe you are in network marketing, you're selling a product or a service. Uh, maybe you're a coach and you're thinking of selling a service, selling your time, selling your expertise, right? And so this is a, a great form of earned income. And so that's how I started. Um, that's how a couple of my kids have started their businesses. Like I said, my son, now even my high school son um, has his own business where he thrifts, right? They buy thrifted clothes and it's crazy. Like what people will spend money on. He brings, they'll bring it home, these piles of things, take the pictures, post them online and make hundreds of dollars each day selling these clothes. Now they've gained some knowledge and, and expertise in this over time as they've been figuring out what sells, as they've been researching online to see what, what's a good thing to get at these thrift places and what's not, right? Like what's going to waste your money. And so there's been taking some time of figuring that out, but they've mastered it. Like they can go in there and they'll know exactly how to work these bins that come out from the Goodwill and what's a deal and what's not, right? And they quickly have to grab those things and that's just come with time. So be thinking about that. That's how I became with scrapbook supplies. Like I, over time, became a really good expert of knowing what was selling, what was a good deal for me to buy it at, and then how to sell that, market it, where to put it, what to say, like titles and descriptions and how it would get noticed um, on eBay, right? So there were some things that you learn over time as you're, you're doing that. And what's cool is that, so I started doing that and then um, my sister-in-law, she wanted to learn as well, just like with my son, my older son, teaching his brother how to do this. There will be people who want to know how you're doing what you're doing. So the first thing is you're discovering, well, how do I do this? And maybe you already have something that is profitable. Like you already know, people want to learn from you to know how to do 
these things. And I'm going to show you a way to kind of dive into that through AI um, even faster. So that might be the first thing is you're thinking of, and especially, um, you know, if you need income now, that's probably the, the best place to start is something where you can create earned income pretty fast because there's, there's different forms of income that are just going to take a little bit longer to create. And then, so after I was doing that and I, I was teaching my sister-in-law how to do this as well, how to find the deals, I could speed up her journey, right? By mentoring her because she didn't have to go through the long process. Just like with my senior in high school, he's learning from his brother a lot faster where it took my older son um, a year, year and a half to figure it out, right? So that's something that people will buy is your expertise if you have that. So you, this is where if you haven't done the, the pre boot camp um, work worksheet where that framework of finding out like, what are your passions? What are your interests? What kind of experience do you have? And what kind of education, whether that's formal education or self-education kind of expertise has have you developed where you're just ahead of someone, right? And that someone is willing to pay you to speed up the journey for them. So you just want to be identify some of those things for yourself, maybe taking notes right now of that might come to mind. Um, Cause maybe you are a nurse and you have some expertise in coming from a nurse who has gone, not just seen like, cause I just kind of know my own kids and some nephews and nieces and, and things like that, but like hundreds, thousands of kids, right? So lots of different experiences. So people will pay for that. So then I decided um, after it was probably about seven years of, of doing that type of business that I was kind of shifting and pivoting. I had had some challenges with my health. Um, I was having miscarriages. I um, had a low energy, low mood. <laughs> I was experiencing migraines and I was kind of doing the traditional um, health care thing and I wasn't getting any better. And when my friend, she introduced me to some products that really changed my life. And at the time I was not open to doing what she was doing as far as in the health world because I was very traditional <laughs> medicine. Like that's all I knew. I grew up standard American diet, traditional healthcare. And so it wasn't something that I knew that I felt like I could teach or help other people with. But after a year of kind of switching, pivoting myself from um, my lifestyle being different, the foods that I was eating, my habits were becoming different and I was seeing results and I was shifting the way that I took care of myself and my family. And it was a tremendous shift. Migraines went away. My, my, um, low mood energy. Uh, I had chronic sinus sections. I had been on rounds of antibiotics for over a year, just off and on. And all of that shifted. So I was gaining this experience over this year. And I felt like, well, other people need to know this. And so I had shifted from scrapbooking, which wasn't super fulfilling to me other than the income piece of that. And I was learning and implementing um, more skills, right? Business skills. But then I shifted into like, oh my gosh, how transformational is this? For other people that don't even know about it. And I have, like, I was not an expert, but I knew more than a lot of people. And so I transitioned after watching a business overview of um, being able to tap into an, an, a different system and create income. And that's really when I shifted from being a, being self-employed to owning a business that was a system and that was creating residual income, right? So that I could help serve people and teach them how to shift their lives with their health, emotional and physical health. And I would get paid over and over and over again, um, from that. And so that was kind of my shift and it wasn't intentional because I hadn't even really thought about this. Didn't really know about the cash flow quadrants, which is funny. This really should be taught in business school, but it's not. <clears throat> and so that's where I kind of shifted and it was into network marketing. And I know that a lot of people don't even like network marketing and there's a lot of bad things that go on there, but I happened to, to join a company that I, I, I love and it feels like it was an accident, but I think it was divinely guided. And what was nice about it is that they had the, the products. They had um, like a lot of the marketing and the fulfillment and the business side of those things were all taken care of. So it wasn't like I was starting a brand new business and where I had just barely had my fifth child. Um, and really it was like a month after that I felt capable of, okay, I can take this on to create more income and not just create earned income, but I can create more of that residual long-term income where I'm going to get paid over and over again. And, um, so that's what I did. And, and I shifted into that and it took me about two years to get to the six figure income mark, um, with that business. Now, the first business, it took me about 
I don't know, three-ish years to get there. And I was working a lot. And the problem was that when I stopped doing that business, I was not earning any more money. It, it was over. It was like when you get laid off from your job, yeah, you might get unemployment, but from that, at some point, you're not getting any more money, right? So all of that effort and work was kind of gone other than what I learned from it, right? The business skills that I had learned from it. So that was invaluable, but I, I needed to move forward and be able to pivot and use what I had learned to create income, whether that was earned income or even better, being able to create something that creates more of the residual passive income. So that's kind of what I did. And then because I was like seeing people asking me, like, how are you doing this? How are you creating this income with this, this company? Um, how did you do other things? Like they, they started asking me how to do that. And so then I started coaching, whether that was help coaching and getting paid for that, whether that was business coaching and, and coaching others to do that. And so that was another form of income. Um, but I also coaching is earned income because you're, you're using your time to create income. Now, then I started doing some courses and I know there are some that have been like, ah, you know, doing courses, they don't want to do that. And that's fine. It's just another form of residual income. The challenge with courses is that you have to have the marketing skills to get it to the right people, right? So there, you may have knowledge um, and experience in certain something, and you could teach it. You could record it as a course. You could gather a group of people and be teaching them these things. The challenge always with business is the marketing side of it and the sales side of it, it especially if you have the expertise, the passion, the experience in a certain thing. So I, I, I just want to put that out there that sometimes people will try to create a course or try to create a business and they don't understand that there's kind of the back end things that you need to learn skills in, in order for that to reach the right people, right? Because you might have a really great product or service, some course, some coaching pro program, but if you don't understand how to get it to the right people, then it's kind of sitting there, right? It's like buried in all of the, all the stuff that's going on online. So that's really my expertise and something that I'm passionate and love because I like bringing solutions to people's problems, right? And even if it's not my thing, it's somebody else's business, like I just get super excited if they have these expertise, like how can we get it to the right people, right? And so I'm gonna, I I emailed you, if you checked your email, um, the most recent one, it contained a, a seven step jumpstart. And this is very focused on kind of the more getting your thing prepared to um, sell, right? So to market and sell. Um, and we'll go through those quickly in just a minute. But so then I did courses and coaching and, and it's kind of like that, that knowledge business, like you're selling your knowledge and people will pay for your knowledge because you're speeding up the time it takes for them to get the result that they're looking for. That's why people will hire maybe a personal coach, a fitness coach is because that person knows these certain things and can speed up the process. Now, yes, I can go online and I can learn all the things and I can experiment and blah, 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 but somebody's already done it. So that's why oftentimes we will pay for a coach and it might be one-on-one, -on -one, which costs more. It might be in a group. It might be like an app. And so just knowing what you're selling, it depends on the form of it will be how much you charge. Um, then I went into affiliate marketing where people were wanting to know what I was using, right? Beyond from network marketing, beyond that, like, oh, I see you're using this. Like what brand, you know, where do I get that? And so just keep in mind, like as you get in this space online, there will naturally be layers and layers and layers of income forms that can come to you, right? Uh, so Amazon affiliate, other products or services, um, even the things that I use for my business in my business, oftentimes there's like an affiliate link. If somebody signs up through your thing, they get a discount, you get a little commission and it creates a win-win. So just be aware of that. And then I went into YouTube um, and I started creating YouTube videos. And first intention of that was just to gather more leads, right? To connect with people that I'm wanting to serve in this health space. And so I was creating videos um, and doing the research, that's the SEO or search engine optimization. Like people are searching specific things and you can find out like, what are those high searches? What are people searching for that there's low competition in? And you can create videos that answer those questions. So then when they type into Google or go onto YouTube and TikTok is moving into this, so is, is a great space if you wanted to move into that, that where, people will be asking these questions. And if you 
have answers to that, you can create a video to help them. And so then when they search one of your videos, if it's good content, and really it doesn't have to be like all this editing involved, people just want good content, right? They want value. They want you to speed up the process for them. And yes, YouTube, it could be entertainment, but I'm just, I just, I don't entertain people. So that was never my thing. But then that changed into, yes, it was bringing leads into my business. And that's the main source of my leads is through YouTube, but I also monetized it. So now YouTube, Google is paying me. Um, they run ads on there. And so I have another form of income through that. Um, paid influencers, right? Where I've had people who, companies that are paying me to review their products. Some of them are trashy and I will tell them that. Like, it was trashy. I will tell people that, um, or they'll give you free products and things um, for being an influencer. If you have either an email list or your following is large enough online that they will do that. Um, I know we had someone who is an author who has written books. That is another form of income. You might have gathered so much knowledge or experience that now you're writing a book. You're putting it in a, a physical form or a digital form that people will pay for. And, and so that's just another thing. Like, would I ever want to write a book? And I tell you nowadays, it's the it's so much easier to write a book because you can use AI. You can just talk to like chat GPT, kind of just talk out like different things. You can tell your stories, tell your stuff, you know, like this is what I'm thinking of doing this and just feed it full of information. And then you can ask it to start organizing that into chapters. And I'm trying to write a book and it will pump these things out for you. And then you can go through and, and like clarify, have it rewrite different things, but it has sped it up so much just having that technology. So there's books, which I haven't written yet. I'm just not really a, a writer thing, but I think I'm going to now that with AI makes it so much easier because I like to speak. I like um, like verbalizing things versus like writing it down. That just seems like so much work to me. Um, also, here's another way that you can create income. And, I, and I've done this a little bit, but you can be the skilled interviewer. So you might not have the knowledge and expertise in something, but you can create a business around interviewing people who do have knowledge and expertise in this. And you are the source. You are the person that people go to because you bring on these experts, whether that's through a podcast, a YouTube channel, maybe it's just a, a weekly email and where you're gathering that information for people from trusted sources and you're delivering that information from these experts. That is a way that you can create. So if you have access to or an interest in, um, and maybe you're a nurse and you're interviewing experts um, in the health field around certain things. Uh, maybe, I mean, there's just all these different ways that you can create this income. Um, so then from there, I the income that was coming from these different revenue, from these different businesses, I was then pumping that into um, developing leaders within my network marketing business. I would invest in, in people I found. And my financial advisor, he's, he was always saying investing in people is one of the best things that you can do. And I totally agree. Um, so a lot of the income that was coming in, I was reinvesting, but then I started, you know, investing in st the stock market and mutual funds and putting money in there, um, for each of our kids so that they would have a, a, a a trust fund and then into rental properties that one of my sons manages. But then I had a couple of friends who were doing um, rental properties where um, we could just be investors, give them the money. They would do all the work in buying these um, apartment complexes. They would fix them up. They might raise the rents. And then at times they would sell them off. And then also venture capital where we are investing in other people's ideas to help move their businesses forward. And, and so that's where we kind of shifted from having this system that was bringing in a lot of income into being able to be investors, right? And that passive income that comes from investing really doesn't take a lot of time to do it. That's the nice thing is you're using your money to work for you. And that's ultimately that time freedom. But most people can't get there without having some type of system or business in place where it's creating that income that's not just earned income. Okay. So that's kind of my journey. Um, for you guys, I would love for you to put in the chats, like what kind of income streams you have, whether that's earned income from jobs, you or your spouse, if that's um, maybe you have a, a business, you have something that you've been even thinking about, put those in the chat. Now, one thing as you're getting started or you're trying to ramp up is 
you need to understand where what would be appropriate for you in starting. Now, is this, do you need money now? If you need money now, generally we start with the earned income and start becoming self-employed, right? That's where we're doing it ourselves. Um, we don't have a boss, but we kind of own our job. And so that could be also reducing expenses, Maybe you're reducing expenses so you have a little extra to be able to put into this business that you're doing, um, or maybe you're getting a job. So I always recommend people if they had some type of for, like earned income to not quit that until their business is earning enough to cover what their needs are, right? Like don't quit what you have too soon. Um, oftentimes that will put a lot of stress on you. Now, if there's another form of income, so that's sometimes when you have a spouse who has this income that's pretty stable coming in, that that might give you the ability to quit what you're doing. And maybe you're living um, below where you would want to. You're making those sacrifices, knowing that you're investing your time in creating this business that's going to pay off big in the end, right? So, um, but if you do have extra income, and I would say if you have at least a couple of hundred dollars of extra income, then it may be the right time for you to get started with this business without the stress, because sometimes they'll, people will start that. And if you're under stress financially, it, can, it, it just makes it really hard to go in and build a business. Like you won't make the best decisions. You won't show up like the person that you need to be showing up as if you're feeling stressed. And if the only reason why you're doing it is for income for yourself. People will feel that like this is all about you instead of about them. Because when we're in business, it's about the people that we're serving and how we can serve them best and help them to overcome like their problems and challenges, right? Okay, so just get some clarity on that. Now I do want to share, I think that my screen will share. Um, let me see here. Pull up my chat, got it, okay. So Maggie currently has a health and wellness coaching business, business to business and passive income with real estate investments. Awesome. Good job, Maggie. Um, let's share my screen. And this is, I shared this with you in your email. So you do have a copy of it. So if my screen is not sharing in Facebook or in YouTube, that you can um, pull it up in your email. It is coming. Okay. So hopefully you see it. If not, pull up your email. So this is the seven step jump start uh, that is going to be super helpful for you. Now I do have a course and a training with all the videos in there, but this workbook will help you to just kind of walk through some of these things. And I don't know why the page isn't moving. Page two, I don't know. It usually just goes. Let's try this. I will just walk you through here and we'll go bigger. All right. So hopefully you're seeing this or you have it pulled up. And so this will go through seven different steps that you'll, you'll really want to do, especially if you're just starting from scratch. And if you already have a business that you're just wanting to scale up, uh, maybe add some different streams of income to you can just kind of go through this and see which ones might be helpful for you. So craft your unstoppable future, kind of the why behind creating this business and deeper than just more money, right? Like what does that do for you? And then the next step is to extract what you'll share. Like, what is it? And so this is very focused on more of the knowledge um, industry where you are selling your knowledge and expertise this could be through courses. This could be through co coaching. This could be through, um, like maybe you have a mastermind, a group, just know that this is very tailored to this, but this is, you know, see how this uh, fits into whatever business you already have, if you have one, and it will help you to get to like the problem I solve is because the more clear you can get on the problem that you solve, the better you will be at finding those people who have that problem, right? Identify your ideal client. You'll want to get very, very specific on that person because then you know how to talk to them. You really know the emotional side of this problem that they're dealing with and how you can help them. Sometimes our business um, ideal client is who we are, who are who we were like a couple of years ago, five years ago, six months ago, depending on how quickly we've been growing ourselves. 
And we can really understand that person because we've been there. We've done that. Now, the fourth step is to create a lead mag magnet. If you're not familiar what a lead magnet is, it's just that freebie, right? It's the free thing that people can have. So this boot camp um, is, is like that kind of a lead magnet. For my health business, um, I have a, a downloadable PDS, PDF that people download. And that's how people kind of come into my funnel. And so it, it's big and broad thinking of a funnel and your lead magnet will put people into that. Right. So you'll want to get clear on what could I offer for free that doesn't take a lot of time for me to create that would be helpful to those people that I'm trying to serve. Right. And then build your opt in page. So this is how, when they click on this link, where are they going? Right. To be able to opt in to receive that thing. Uh, you'll need to have technology tools to do that if you're wanting to, to go this route. Right. And then develop your email strategy because that is super powerful when you're connecting with people through the written word. Again, we can use e a AI, chat GPT, to help with those things, but you need to have some type of strategy when somebody downloads your free thing, how are you gonna deliver it to them? And then what are you gonna say after that, right? And one of the best things, like for those of you who have a freebie, uh, a lead magnet already, be thinking about in those emails, how you can get them to use the freebie, right? Because oftentimes, like how many of us have downloaded something free, have opted into something free? And because it's free, we don't value it that much. And so it's after somebody opts in that we really have to sell the value of the free thing and getting them to use the thing, finding value from it, solving little problems from it. And this is just small little things um, that you can offer to them. But once they start seeing the value that you're providing and like, oh, like that really worked. I really like that suggestion, whatever it is, maybe you're in the health space and you're providing solutions. And they're just little things that people are tweaking and they're saying, Oh, that worked. And they're, they're building trust. You're building trust with them through that. And now you have their email. Um, some of you have just started on social media and you don't have a way of capturing people's email or their phone number. If you don't do that, like your, your things can just disappear. Your leads could disappear just like that because you don't own social media. Right. And then step number seven is choose your delivery system. How are you going to deliver that freebie? Is it a PDF? Is it a video? Is it a, like part of a course? Um, what's the technology behind that delivery system to be able to have those emails going out so they can go to a page. Right. And I'll show you what I use, um, but you might already have something and then this is really important to get clear on. And these are statements that once you understand what it is that you want to offer, that having this simple statement can be really helpful and clear for you. And it's something that you can be putting out there on your different pages or in different groups or somebody asked you, right? So I'm a blank who helps blank to blank with or without something, right? So example, I'm a coach who helps new CPAs establish their own profitable agency without getting stuck in red tape, right? So you could fill in the blank what it is for you because we're all different. We all have different strengths and, and interests, right? But hopefully this will help you to kind of get started um, and thinking about if I, I want to start something, these are the different steps I need to take and to be thinking about. And one of the things that you can do is you can use AI chat GBT. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you can go to open AI dot. I don't even know. I think it's open AI. Let me just pull it up right here. Um, or just put in chat GPT is chat.openai.com and you can create a free account and it will basically, let me share my screen and I will show you like some of the fun stuff that I've been playing around with here. This has been re revolutionary for me because one of the things that's held me up in my business is the whole writing piece. Uh, just seemed like it's just so much work for me. I'm so detail oriented that it just seems to take forever. And then because I make it bigger than it is, it seems to take forever. So for instance, I was creating Facebook ads for the boot camp. Um, there's a ton of stuff here, right? So I'll kind of scroll back up to the, the top. And really anything that you're creating, if you're thinking about a business idea, um, wow, that was a lot. That was a long thread. Okay. I might get to the top of this. That was maybe a bad one to pick. That's a mile long. Okay. So I started this by, you know, I've told you a lot about my business 
about me and also my three day bootcamp. And so what's nice about chat GPT is that it saves all the stuff that you've been writing about yourself, your style, who you're working with, who you want to serve. If you've had programs in the past, you can refer to those things. So you feed it the information. You can either type it out or you can talk to it and just say, okay, here's some background about where I'm at. Um, I'm trying to create a new business. Here are a list of things that I'm passionate about, that I love doing, that just fills my bucket. Here is my educational background. I have this degree and I studied this and I self-taught this and I've read these books here and I've done this course. Like you can go through all of that. And here's my experience. Like I struggled when I was a kid with, with my weight and la, 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 la. And I have experience with this thing, thing, whatever you're finding is like important, just feed it in there. And that will be data that it will use. Then you can ask it certain questions. So that's kind of what I did. I had been feeding it information. And so when I came to the place where I needed something created, then I could go and just refer to it. Right. And then it would start spitting out some things for me. Like here's some different things, high level outcome, bootcamp details, lead magnet outlines. Right. And then I might ask it some more, inf some more stuff, give it some more information. And then it can spit out. Uh, 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 so that was a lot of information that I fed it. Um, registration page copy. Some of this might look familiar on the bootcamp registration page, the things that it came up with, right? And there might be something that doesn't quite align. And so you ask it to change those things. So with, if you're in the stage of creating a business, you might look at the seven step jumpstart and be asking about it. And you can even tell um, chat GPT, like pretend you are an expert in marketing, or if you know someone that's well-known out there and you like their style that you can say, I want this in the style of so-and-so. Uh, there's just so much that you can do to speed things up in your business. If you have certain questions, if you're feeling kind of stuck, I, I used to always say, go to Google or go to YouTube, um, because you can figure it out, Right that that's the way that we kind of DIY our business is that we just go and we find the free things and we do it. And um, sometimes we will pay somebody to help speed up the process. But AI has been phenomenal as far as being able to speed up some of those things that you might want to just ask a mentor, right? Um, maybe you're following Tony Robbins or something. And you could say, can you give me answers to these questions that I have from the perspective of Tony Robbins? Like what, what were some things that he would say about this or about this business or about this idea? Um, where would I get started? Um, here's what I'm thinking of doing. What would be a good lead magnet idea for this? Um, there's just so much that you can ask. Like that can be your personal assistant mentor guide. Uh, but then also you have to have a brain because you have to be able to read that and know enough that you're like, eh, that just doesn't sound right. Like that doesn't sound like me, or I don't want to go that direction. And so being able to then go back in and ask some clarifying questions or refining the outputs, right? So that's something that has been really helpful. And I just want you to know, like it's a free resource that you can do when you kind of get stuck. Um, okay, so we have the seven step jumpstart. Uh, something else that I wanted to share with you is, and this is where it may or may not share my screen for my iPad. We'll see. Let jump in here and share this. Mm, I don't know if it's sharing. Oh, there, there we go. At least it is in Zoom. It may or may not be on Facebook or YouTube, but it's your value ladder. This is something that you want to be thinking about because sometimes we will jump into something really fast and we haven't thought through a few things well enough, right? So it's called the value ladder and it can be as big as you want, but generally down here, this is where you're starting with your free stuff. So that's why you have to get some clarity around what problem or problems that you want to solve and who you want to solve them for. Like who is that ideal person, right? So for me, I really love working with moms who have kids, who are college educated. And so when I was talking about like my health business, 
I offered a free essential oils guidebook because oftentimes new moms, when they're like, I have no idea how to use this, but I don't want to be going to the doctor all the time. And they're just not often that confident in their own skills and abilities, you know, with certain things, they know what they know mostly from their own experience. And so I offer a freebie, right? And people would download that from YouTube because I was answering questions that people were asking about certain things. And so they would go watch my video. And in the video, I would say, Hey, you know, download this free guide. They would go download the free guide and then it would put them in into my system. Right. But then you have to have no, like, what's that next step? What is that either self-liquidating offer um, or low ticket price thing? Right. Like what's something small that you could offer them that is kind of the next step in value that they're willing to pay for knowing your ideal client, you know, this is something they want solved. This is kind of the next step. And if you know what this is, you can put that in your freebie, right? Or you can put it in later, but you just want to be thinking about that. What's the next thing? And then here's kind of your core offer, like your main thing. You can decide what that is. It could be a course. It could be coaching. It could be um, like a book. It could be just, it could really be anything, but this is really the offer that will help create um, the income for you, right? So maybe it costs a thousand dollars. Maybe it's two thousand dollars. Like you're solving a problem large enough that somebody is willing to pay you that, and the people who are you're serving, they're willing to pay that. They can pay that, right? If because there's been times when I'm like, man, if you solve this problem for me, yes, it's totally worth paying ten thousand dollars for it. If you can solve this problem for me, because right now, like I'm struggling, I'm suffering. And if it continues, like it's costing me not just time, but it's costing me money in different ways and costing me relationships. It's costing me whatever, right? That's why getting clarity first is just have an idea of what you want to offer. And what ends up happening is the people who buy this offer, they often will start asking for other things. Like maybe once they've consumed that or gone through your course, or they're a part of that mastermind group with you, they might start asking questions and they will help you to understand what this next thing might be. This might be some, you know, master mind together. Um, this might be some like smaller group coaching, whatever that is, they will usually tell you what that is. Now let's just look at the numbers, right? When I say self liquidating offer, this might be just something that have you seen that, you know, buy, you get this book for free, you just pay the shipping. Um, and usually the shipping is probably more than what they're paying for shipping, but that's helping to pay for, um, the ads. It's helping to pay a little bit for the product that they're sending you. Um, maybe it's that, you know, $17 thing that's helping to pay for the cost of like the work that you're doing and putting into this. Or... So it's just a low thing that is helping to pay for it, but let's just do the math around having this offer. Now, let's just say you're trying to create, um, an extra I don't know. Well, let's just say you're trying to create a six figure income, right? Um, we'll just say 10,000 a month. So you'd have to sell five of those each month, right? To create 10,000. That's not bad. Um, if it's a thousand dollars is the thing that you're selling, then you need to sell 10 of those, right? So it's totally doable, but you want to be thinking like how much income do I want to create? And do I want to create it in a way that it is more of the residual type income? And that's oftentimes why people will, will do some type of courses because you can create it. And then if you're good at marketing and it really is valuable and it's solving problems, then you will get, and I will show you the different ways to send people to your offer that this can be in a way residual income. Yes, there will be some maintenance. It's not like just set it and forget it, right? There'll be some maintenance of it, but you create it once and it gets sold over and over and over again. The same thing with a book. Um, it The same thing, like people who are doing that with network marketing, right? That they have somebody who buys this product and once they love it and they're finding value in it, they purchase it over and over and over again, sometimes for life. And that's income for you over and over again. And I think of that with, man, if Amazon Prime had that kind of system where if you referred somebody to Amazon, then that person who purchases through Amazon Prime forever, you get a little piece of that. Like that'd be cool, cool program. Um, so just be thinking of that, like what type of income, or is this just adding on to something that you're already doing? 
like maybe you already have income coming in a different way. Are people asking you about certain things? That was me with business. Like people are asking me, how can I create extra income? How can I have like a business of my own? How can I have it online? Because I want to have some of that, that freedom to be able to go and move and travel and do things and not be tied to something. So like for me, creating that offer, helping people to create that, I'm providing value for them. They're paying $2,000 and potentially could be creating hundreds of thousands of dollars over their lifetime, right? For that one thing. So just be thinking about that. That's the value ladder. Um, and then the other thing that I want to talk about is one of my mentors uh, shared this and I love it. He says, there's kind of two different. So if this is your offer or your thing that you're selling, this could be a course, this could be um, coaching, this could be product, whatever the thing is, right? That we have things that will like if you think of a farmer, there's different crops. If you grow corn, apparently it grows pretty fast, right? So you could have multiple yields of corn per growing season that you can replant and have corn come up. Now, if we're planting apple trees, it's going to take a longer time to get apples from those trees. But once you do, like that is a big deal. Like you will have apples from those trees as long as you're taking care of them pretty much forever, right? So you have to think of there's ways that we can bring people to our offer um, and, and thinking about there's ways that are corn, like pretty fast. And then there's apples that we're kind of planting those, those seeds and they will sprout up. So with that, there's different ways that when you're getting started that I recommend planting corn <laughs> because these are faster um, to get results than some of these other ways. So we have our network. So these are the people who are already in your network, the warm people, the people that you know. So if you have people that you know that are your ideal customer, that's kind of where you're going to want to start. Also, we have referrals. So maybe you know people that know people who are your ideal person, right? And so thinking about how to make something easy to refer people to your thing. Like people need to be aware of it. You might be letting your net web network know if you know anyone that is X, Y, Z dealing with X, Y, Z and wants to blah, 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 right? That, that statement that you're connecting them. And then also online groups. So these people are already gathering in some place. These are your corn. This is like the fast way to get people to your offer once you have it created. Now, the other things, these are apples. <laughs> these will take longer. It will take more skills, might take some money, um, but these will produce long-term results, consistent results. So some of the things that you can do, one of the first things that I would say you'd want to do is the email, right? So you want to get people on your list and have it be consistent on emailing people. And you can use ChatGPT to be able to do that. Um, what's the matter? Sorry, my daughter. What? Okay, go rub that stuff on, I promise. It? It's Clary Calm up in my bathroom. Clary Calm. Yep. Um, my daughter who just started her period. She's like, oh, I'm so miserable. <laughs> so, pardon her. So email, right? You want it, that would probably be the first place outside of these that you'll want to have. Um, then most people will add social media. Why? Because it's free. It, it does cost your time. And again, you can use chat GBT to help you to know what to post, to connect with your ideal customers. Um, a really good one in quality lead are podcasts. Like you might be a guest on a podcast. Maybe you have an expertise and now you're looking for people who have guest speakers on their podcast. That will give you some intention, give you some authority with them. And what are you pointing them to? You're pointing them to your offer. Um, another one is maybe affiliates. Maybe you create something. Maybe you did create that course, but you're letting your people who know that if you refer people, you can be an affiliate for my thing. Like here's your affiliate link, send them to you. Every time that somebody signs up for the program through your link, you're going to get something. They're kind of doing the marketing for you. And then the other one is ads. 
And this is where it does take money, but that can create a consistent stream. And especially if you're online and whatever it is that you created is a, a program that's, you know, more than just local, that it can reach people that you'll never be able to reach. And the, the systems in place, like for Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and, and YouTube and Google for doing ads, they know so much about us that they can connect us with the right people. That at first, as you, you start those ads, they'll just kind of be testing out and then they'll hone in and they're like, oh, these are the people. And then they'll start feeding those ads to those people. And that can bring consistency into um, your offer. And that creates some time freedom because you're not out there having to network and refer, you know, like doing all the groundwork that comes, but that comes later, right? Like after, you know, this program works, you have people who have been doing it, using it, whatever that is, you have testimonials about it. You're, you're confident in that. Then you might shift into doing some ads. Okay. Let me stop sharing my screen there. That was kind of might be way over some people's like what they're thinking and that's okay. But I do want to give you that, that the insight of and kind of the big picture of where people may be moving to. You might be, you know, anywhere along the spectrum of, I don't even have a business idea. I didn't know I want to create income. And tomorrow I'll be talking about that, like how you can really tap into um, systems that are already created. If you're not wanting to go the route of creating your own. Some of you, like, I just want to own it. Like, I, I love technology. I love online. I love, 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 love. And I want to have the freedom to be able to create different things, different times, serve in different ways, different capacities. Um, just know that there are, are different people, right? Um, and really, the sky is the limit. Like, we have access to so much that really nothing should stop us from being able to create an extra income online, whether that's just, I'm going to be selling some things on eBay, or I think my son uses deep pop something for his clothes. Like there's so many apps out there that that's a place that you could start, start generating some, some income, start gaining some experience and then kind of move from there. Or if you have a little bit of extra income, I would highly recommend that you're looking at creating more of a residual income piece because that will create the time and financial freedom for you long-term that will move you out of just earned income into a place where you're having more of that residual income and, you know, the economy can shift and things can change. You're not tied to an employer who, you know, are you, am I keeping my job? I think I just heard, I can't remember what company it was, but they laid off a huge amount of people. It was like a third of their workforce. And that's the thing, like, Job for some people feel secure and some people in entrepreneurship, they feel secure, right? You have to decide which one you are. Um, okay. Let me see. Is there any questions for those who are, I will check the chat. Um, and those who are on live. Um, and if you're a VIP, just make sure you st stay on. We're going to do, we'll do like a five minute break and then we'll just hop in. But my recommendation to you is if you haven't done the, the pre boot camp, um, like just jotting down what your education experience and your passions are, that's where I would start. And then I would take the seven step, um, quick start and just kind of glance through that and start filling that out. Um, thinking about those things and you can use chat GPT to be giving it information and then asking some questions from the seven step jump start. You might be saying, I'm trying to create this, this thing, this piece of um, the jump start with this information about who I am, what I'm passionate about, what I'm trying to create, what I'm trying to do, what do you think are some like good business ideas or ways that I could serve people? Um, who could who could be some of my ideal customers or clients for this? And it will give you some ideas. And then you like let it sit, think about it. If that feels right, like go with it. Like it's it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just, you want to start making progress forward. All right. Um, do we have any questions, any in the Facebook group? I can see the chat there, the YouTube ones. A bit different. Uh, and then those who are all live on Zoom. Tomorrow, probably my, one of my fun, favorite days tomorrow and Thursday for sure, because tomorrow, especially for those who maybe don't have a business right now or don't have a business idea, 
I want to show you how to speed that up and just really tap in to systems that are already there so that you can quickly get moving as you're you know, figuring it out a little bit more. Um, it's not good to just stay where you're at and to be um, kind of like an education junkie, uh, just thinking about it, right? I think I'm going to work out. Like I'd like to work out. I would like to lose 10 pounds. I'd like to get in shape. I'd, I'd like to, but then you never actually do it, right? And the people who just start start messy. Um, maybe just tomorrow I'm just gonna start walking. Okay. I, I'm just going to go 10 minutes after lunch. I'm just going to walk. I'm going to just start there and I will work my way. There is a story of this nun and I cannot remember her name, but if you go Google it, look her up, incredible story. She had been a nun in whatever convent for a really long time. And one of the other nuns had commented on her because she had been putting on weight and under her, um, black, I don't know what it's called robe thing, right? Um, the the other nun, a nun told her, like, sister, you look like you're pregnant and your body is a temple and it doesn't look like you're taking care of it. <laughs> well, that nun took that to heart and she started to, like, she took immediate action. Like, you're right. Like, I am not treating my body like it's a temple. I shouldn't look like I'm pregnant. I'm a nun. <laughs> And so she just started walking up the street um, and gradually started running. And just every day she would just do a little bit more and a little bit more. And if you go read her story, like she's run marathons, she's done triathlons. And it all just started by taking a little imperfect action. She was just doing a little bit and then adding a little bit more that, you know, that 1% better each day, that's all she was focusing on and transformed her life and the impact that she's made on other people because they have been inspired by her, by what she's done. And so just take that to heart for yourself. Like don't procrastinate getting started, like taking the messy action just a little bit. And I'll do a little bit more and a little bit more. And if like, I don't know how to like fit this in, like, well, ask chat GBT, ask a friend that you think knows how to manage their time. Like, it's okay to ask and inquire if you don't know how to figure it out yourself, ask. Um, we have resources. We have YouTube. Like probably every question you could possibly have is probably on a free video on YouTube. Um, so just know like that is not an excuse anymore. If you really want to get moving, start moving. And so that's for today. If there's no other questions, I'll just give you a couple of seconds for those who are on Zoom. If not, we will end the live let me go to my things and then we'll just take a, a quick break um if you can go run to the bathroom go grab a drink